Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, need to adopt this uh, political solution because uh, we are not interested who is fault and who is right. We believe that at the round table we can uh, solve this problem in order to move uh, this country forward. Because uh, the issue of what is happening in Nandikalo today is a symbol of injustice that uh, they have meted on Ndibu. And based on this thing, uh, that is why this uh, issue is coming up. So we are asking the Nigerian government to come down and look for a political solution to have a round table with the IPOP and Nandikalo in order to solve this problem. And like we said before, that this trial is baseless. What the president can do is to invoke the powers that is assigned to the Attorney General under the Constitution and discontinue this jamboree. And I want the federal government to try this option of using the judgment of Court of Appeal for political solution and reducing mass in the camp. One major priority area in the southeast, which I think will cool off a great deal of nerves, is for us to bring out Kanu, that gentleman, pull him out. Stop this incarceration. Leaders of the Southeast feel that the release of Mazen Nam de Kano will help in dousing all the tensions and everything that is going on in the Southeast. The law, the, the, the court have released him. The court have released him, and uh, we, we in Ohanes and Debo, feel that there is no justifiable reason whatsoever to still keep him in prison when he has been released. The release of uh, Namdi Kano, you know that the Southeast has uh, made a collective demand to have Namdi Kano released. Some of the tier of the courts are granted him bail. Even in the issue of the charges, some tier of the court had quashed all the charges. So you can see that the government has a lot of places it can stand to release the young man and bring peace to the southeast. So many lives have been lost as a result of this, uh, as a result of the continued detention of Enam de Kanu. The government should at this time, I think, uh, look at both sides of the co uh, coin. Look at what is happening in the southeast. The insecurity in the southeast before now wasn't as uh, serious as... as it if they really have the interests of their people at heart, only what will bring peace and progress in that region is the release of Mars in Nambika. You cannot actually understand that this is nothing but being tribalized. So many people committed crime, even worse than what Nandi Kahlo said with his mouth. Today, they are moving freely. I'm not even talking about the freedom fighters who committed the same crime. People like Sondi Boho, people like Sowere, these people have been set free. Let us just talk about those. Who are calling for Ibos to be key in Lagos? Are we talking about the first lady himself? Are we talking about the hub of Lagos that came out to say that one ethnicity will die in Lagos swamp? That some people will swallow them if they refuse to do what he told them to do. Nobody arrested him. Nobody arrested him. Are we talking about Asare? Who Brown wish AK 47? Even machine, everywhere he goes to, even in the street, Obasa. Are we talking about the same Asare? Who openly come out and call Igbo slaves? Who claim that if not because the European came, that probably he will be selling Ibos as slave? The same man went as a rock, stood front of court of arm of Nigeria to threaten Ibos, to say that Nam Kala will rot in jail, that if he doesn't take him, he will even come there to kill him. 
that Igbos will not do anything. A man who went to visit Nibu. There's nothing else you have to tell us. Apart from that, Tinibu want to see what Igbos can do. Because there have always been the problem. Not even the Fulani you're talking about here. The only problem Fulani have is that they went outside to recruit people who are criminal because of Buhari to cause havoc in Nigeria. And we will say we don't want to see them in our land. That's all. Before Fulani comes to our land, right they coming in our land without anybody disturbing them. And none of them has killed anybody one day. Until politicians started using them. And this doing this in the calculated start security network. Look, we cannot stay in our land. Our lot people come and kill us in our land. Rape our mothers. So why is Tinibu still keeping Namde Khan? Different court has set him free. What Buhari did was just what Tinibu told him to do. Because everything was planned. They were aware from the beginning that Tinibu is going to be a president of Nigeria. By Uruwuru. This was why Tinibu told Buhari to make sure that he doesn't do this in Namde Khan. That is it. You can really understand now where the problem is coming from. Because this man was the man. Why he was going around conversing to be a president of Nigeria. He claimed that he's going to listen to the criminal he came into office. Or is he telling me that because Ibo did not vote for him? That was why. That is why he has refused to listen to the Kalu. Which that is nonsense. As a president of Nigeria, his duty is to release those who caught has set free. It doesn't matter who arrested him. So far as Nam the Kano has been set free by court of law, it doesn't matter what Buhari did. He is a new president. To start up and to make sure that things works out from him for him. All he needed to do is to release everybody Buhari has kept in custody. The court has set free. It's as simple as that. Do you know how many Biafras court has set free and they still in their custody? Some of them are in prison. Tinibu has decided not to do that because they are not Yoruba. And they are not Flani. The same secret outfit created. Which of course is for the reason. Was it not the same thing that Mietela created? Mietela whom everybody knows is part and parcel of flying terrorists. He was arrested, no doubt. But Nibu let us set him free. So what are we talking about? Nandi Kano did not commit any crime. Well, his only crime is to recruit security outfit to protect our land that Nigerian police and soldiers refused to protect. They were there when Flaji was coming in, killing our people, raping our mothers. They did not do anything. Or they continue to say that they cannot go to Bush. It's not their work. They did not know that time that I should bring soldier to go to the bush to feed them out. But immediately, a sister to the network was created. They made their plan to destabilize Ibo land. And I was so dumbfounded that some of the governors, two governors in our land, of course, the Ibo state former governor and the Ibo state current governor, we are part and parcel of these atrocities and we continue to watch them. I've said this before. Time has come when we will start to follow our people who are evil. Who are evil. These two governors, governors are the people. Today they are not three. Edugu State Governor, they are the people who are doing everything possible to make sure that Nibu continue keeping on the calling custody. Have you ever seen them? Talk about it. They continue to deceive you. And he wants us to keep quiet. You can see the whole thing. People have called for his release. So many people. Both from Nigeria. Both from uh, Nigeria. Both from Despera. Both for those. For Ibo land. Both for other ethnicity. Even Paklak. Even Ameji. Pambrasitik Ameji. He's so rest in peace. Was at the forefront. In Asorok. Telling Buhari to listen to Namde Khan. Buhari called him bluff. What did that man die? And you think that we will keep quiet and allow this country to work. <laughs> you guys are wasting your time. It can never work.
we will do everything possible to make sure this country is stabilized. Tinubu cannot achieve anything. No matter what he do, unless he's setting Nandikalo free. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.